In this video, we will take a look at the basic oscilloscope controls. We connected a Mega One oscilloscope to a PC. Let's open Mega One graphic user interface controls by clicking its button in the devices area. Mega One plugin opens, showing control knobs, switches, and other settings. It's a two channel oscilloscope, so we have settings for channel A and channel B. We can set the color of the signal for each channel and adjust the input gain setting for each channel, varying from 0 to 20 volts. We can cut off a DC component of a measured signal by clicking the AC DC switch and change the measurement resolution from 8 to 12 bits and backwards. The sampling frequency varies from 1 sample per second to 2.5 mega samples per second. Device operates in two different modes. First, pipe mode. Sampling is slower than USB 2.0 full speed maximum transfer speed. Device can transfer sample data over USB 2.0 continuously and without any interrupts. Second, buffer mode. Sampling is faster than USB 2.0 full speed maximum transfer speed. Device is transferring limited amount of data, data images, and there are interrupts between data. Little question mark button shows you the version of plugin, main device and analog generator firmwares. Deck mode can be switched from analog to digital, enabling you to use the 16-channel logic analyzer. Mega One also includes the analog generator, which is capable of generating various waveforms. Under the drop down menu, we can find different waveforms such as sine, square, triangle, and saw. Amplitude can be adjusted from 0 to 100%, and the frequency is limited to maximum 12.5 kHz. Now let's take a step further and let's perform some measurements. Thanks for watching.